at the pawn shop for 20 bucks. Um, Sonic Unleashed, imagine I don't have that one. Raging Blast 2, uh, Dragon Ball C Ultimate Tenkaichi. And the game that I wanted the most was actually this one. I'm always looking for it. I don't want to pay a lot. It's an inexpensive game, but one game that I really wanted to add to my collection. So for 20 bucks, it's a good deal. At the pawn shop, paid 35 for everything. Not bad. Uh, Mass Effect, I didn't have. No Man's Sky, Days Gone, Ace Combat, Skyrim, The Golf. I just got like Golf Fames, Ratchet and Clank, and The Last of Us Remastered. And the best game was Advanced Wars. This game should pay for everything, and the rest of the games should be free. Later. So my storage guy sends me a text and he says that he has a whole bunch of Nintendo stuff. I run over there knowing there's going to be at least 20, 30 NES games. Most likely Samson, Panic Restaurant, maybe even the Flintstones. And then I get this. Um, I really beat up NES with a four score and I believe a satellite and a, and a sapper. And he could just see the disappointment in my eyes, but I still gave him 40 bucks because he calls me all the time And I should be able to make my money at least and for 40 bucks can't complain Later So at the pawn shop paid 60 for everything basically he had everything at five bucks a piece But then he saw I got a lot of stuff. So we made a deal uh, Monopoly Sega Bass Fishing, Centipede, Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance, Lost Odyssey, The Thing for the Xbox, NBA 2K22, uh, God of War, and then a few guides, Tomb Raider, Lost Odyssey, I don't know how I'm going to manage this, The Last Revelation, Rygar, and the best guide was The Suffering, and altogether 60 bucks is not bad, the guides by themselves should be at least 60 so it's at least a double up. A lot of this stuff I'm keeping, but I'll sell a couple of things just to get some of my money back. So, can't complain. Later. At the pawn shop, paid only eight bucks for this. Um, The wife didn't have it and she was very excited to see it. So, for eight bucks, not bad. I think Goodwill paid 12 for everything. Um, the PlayStation 2 game was sealed. Tetris Worlds, I don't have it sealed, so why not? And then Jurassic Evolution was three bucks. The other one was eight bucks. So all together, 12 bucks. There's a pawn shop behind me. I ended up paying 30 bucks for Mario Golf, Wii Sports Resort, and Wet. Wet should go for about 30 bucks. I can get 30 bucks out of that and 20 out of that. So for 30 bucks. Can't complain. So this was a pawn shop deal. Paid 25 for everything. Warriors for the PSP. Crazy Taxi was eight bucks. SimCity, 2000. Warriors was another three bucks. Mass Effect, I didn't have, that was three. And Alliance Alive. And altogether, 25 bucks is a really good deal. So can't complain. Later. At the pawn shop, paid only 10 bucks for Icon and No Man's Sky Beyond. I think this one should be around 20 and this one should be around 22. So for 10 bucks, good enough. So at the pawn shop, I paid 10 bucks for everything. The family game night. Um, this one, maybe 20 bucks. I gotta look into it. And anything with Michael Jordan, I'm gonna buy. And I believe this one, maybe, is 20 bucks also. So for 10 bucks, not bad at all. Later.
Alright guys, are here my pickups for the last couple of weeks. As always, we'll do pawn shops, flea markets, thrift stores, and everything in between. We'll get started right away and sh try to show everything as fast as I can. Stay tuned till the end. There is a nice heavy hitter. I wouldn't say heavy hitter, but a rare game for the NES. And we'll get started right away. The first thing was from Goodwill. I paid three bucks for Jurassic Park. It may be like a $20 game on that same Goodwill. Even though it was eight bucks, I paid eight bucks for Tetris World. It is sealed, so I'll add that to my sealed collection. At a pawn shop, paid three dollars for Ace Combat, um, SOCOM, and I believe, yeah, Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, and for some reason I thought I didn't have this in Halo 5 and Black Ops 2, and I believe all together, I'm taking 20 bucks, but I'm not 100% sure. At a pawn shop, I believe I paid 10 for Death, Death Jam Icon, I think it's like a $20 game, and No Man's Sky Beyond is also like a $20 game, so happy to get those. At the flea market, picked up War Groove and Star Ocean, and those two were 15 At a pawn shop, I think there was one more, but I can't find it. Uh, the Fun Pack, Family Game Night 4. This actually goes for about 20 bucks, so that's why I picked it up. Family Game Night 4, and... NBA 2K16. Now, the only reason why I picked it up is because Michael Jordan is in the cover, and that is my favorite player ever, and the GOAT, so I had to do that. Um, Goodwill, I paid for a brand new World of Fortune, a bucks. My daughter stole it and opened it, so that's that. Um, next thing, I picked up another No Man's Sky. I believe all these were like 10 bucks. I think it were four for 10. No Man's Sky, Mass Effect. Skyrim, Days Gone, Ace Combat 7, and Ratchet and Clank. I believe there were a couple of more games, but I just can't find them. And that was 10, like 20 bucks, because I think I bought two sets of, of things, I think. Um, I got a PlayStation 4. At another pawn shop, everything was half off. Soul Calibur, Fallout, God of War 3, MLB The Show, PGA Tour, NBA Live. Like I said, everything was um, half off, so I bought everything that I didn't have. WWE 2K16 and the Bigs and South Park at a Goodwill. Paid two bucks a piece for Rock Band, Rock Band 2, FIFA 13, the Beatles, Grand Slam, NBA 2K12. The Voice, Tiger Woods. Uh, at another pawn shop, paid three bucks for Mass Effect. I didn't have Alliance Alive. It's like a fifty-dollar game. Sim City, Warriors Orochi, Crazy Taxi, um, and Warriors Orochi Four. Another, well, I believe this was from a pawn shop too. Either 10 or 15 bucks. A couple of games are missing, I think. Um, Majin and Mike Tyson Boxing. I didn't have Mike Tyson Boxing, so for some reason, I decided to pick it up. Let me move stuff around so I can fit everything in here. The next thing was from another pawn shop paid. I believe that one was 20 or 30 bucks, maybe 25. For Wet is the only one I have. I also had Wii Sport Resort, but I already sold that for 30. And Mario Golf, I already sold it for 20. So this is the one they're going to the unknown video game hunter. And that was, I believe, was either 20 or 25 bucks at another pawn shop. Basically, I haven't been to this pawn shop in a very long time. Um, they are seeming to start to lowering their prices, which is good. Uh, I picked up everything I believe was 50 bucks. Maybe 60 because I went back there. Uh, Monopoly for the PS1. Centipede. Sega Bass Fishing. Um, WWE 2019. I think that one goes for good money. Uh, 2007. The thing I didn't have. Deadly Alliance. Lost Odyssey. It's like a $20 game. Got a war. I can get like $20, game, $20 for it. Um, a bunch of guys, they're all between 20 and 25 bucks. Fallout, it might be a little bit more pricey, it might be like a $30 guide. 
This is only like 15. Last Odyssey. Tomb Raider. Rygar. And The Suffering. And I believe all together I paid like 60 bucks. But the guys by themselves are definitely worth it. Another deal was from one of my pawn shops. I mean, not my, one of my self storage guys. He basically said, I got a Nintendo with a whole bunch of stuff. Come get it. I went there running thinking I was going to get a whole lot of good stuff. But at the end of the day, I just picked up an NES for 40 bucks with a satellite with the adapter and a four score. I should be able to get my money back, no problem. Actually, I already did by just selling the Nintendo. But I got, got my hopes up. It didn't work out, but it is what it is. The last deal was from Facebook. I paid, I believe, was 120 bucks. He, he posted it maybe 57 minutes before it all got started. There was a big game that I saw there that I wanted to pick up, and I don't think a lot of people saw it. Um, the N64, the expansion pack, um, and a couple of other things have sold. Uh, came with a 360 in decent shape. It's working, so that's all that matters. Um, I connect. It also had like a um, rock band drum kit or like the portable one. Uh, the controllers for the N64 are nice and tight. I picked up a couple of those. Picked up a few games. Ken Griffey. Ocarina of Time. Donkey Kong 64. Looney Tunes. Jack Nicklaus. TNC Server Sign. Pac Man. Jeopardy, Tiger Heli, Pinball, Little Mermaid had the manual, Kid Icarus, Paperboy, and like I said, everything was 20 bucks, I mean 120 bucks, which is great. Zelda, two games I didn't have, Super Monkey Ball 2 for the GameCube, and Burnout 2, and then he has some common 360 games, GTA, two copies of GTA, Pure, Saints Row, Connect Adventures, Connect Sports, Batman, COD, F1, Forza Motorsports, and then I picked up the pickup of the week. This was a Facebook deal. Paid 120 for everything. There's some 360 stuff. Um, two 360s. The antenna is there. Um, some NES games. Um, Kid Icarus probably being the best one. Um, he also has some GameCube, but a couple of things only. Uh, there's an N64 with expansion pack. Uh, more games, Zelda's, and all that stuff. And the whole reason why I drove all the way over here was to get um, Fitties the Cat. Excellent, excellent condition. It looks almost new. Um, very happy. Very happy to add that to the collection. And very happy to be able to pick up something for 120 bucks. Later. So, the pickup of the week was Felix the Cat. Um, like I said, I saw this. The game, you can only see like an F out of the whole thing. I texted the unknown video game hunter and I told him, do you see what I see? He said yes. The guy was actually willing to meet me right away, and I offered 120. He was up, it was up for 100. I offered 120 just to make sure I got it. Um, he said yes. Very happy to pick this up. It's one of the games that I needed to get back from my list of the games that I had to get rid of, and very happy to pick this up. It's an excellent, excellent condition. Very excited. Very grateful to be able to pick this up and add it to the collection. The week was a really good week. Was able to add the guys to the collection. A whole bunch of um, PS4 games that I didn't have. I Like I said, um, they, my, even my daughter was able to get some stuff. So very happy, very grateful. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And hopefully we will see you all next week. Later.